Hello Scorpio, welcome back to Fifi and Gigi's Tarot Readings. I hope you're all feeling absolutely magnificent. Scorpio, why don't we jump straight in? I don't like to lose any time, I like to dive in head first. Let's put that over there and I'll clear the deck. I hope everything's going fantastic. I hope that the week has been kind, patient and generous for all of you. Scorpio, let's talk about, in regard to your personal romantic love life, what is it that you do not know? yet because you soon will so i don't want to add any subtitle any subtopic i'm going to allow my spirit team and your spirit team for the collective watching this to let you know what is it that you do not know but now you do so let's get straight into it and as i shuffle scorpio i do encourage you to subscribe you don't have to but i encourage you that way you <coughs> excuse me you will never ever miss out on a reading that Gigi and I, I'm Fifi, um, that we do for you here in Australia every single Wednesday without fail. There is a lot of free content available for you. Always have two different readings uploaded in your dedicated playlist every Wednesday. And this Saturday, I will personally see you at 12 p.m. because I will be uploading your All Signs bonus weekend love tarot reading and it will be time stamped as well. All right, here we go. They're saying three, two more. And for those that still wish to have a personal one-on-one -on -one reading with Gigi, so I'm actually closed for readings, but uh, if you wish to have a personal one-on-one -on -one reading with Gigi that can cover love, career, finances, and everything in between, all that information how to book with Gigi is in the description box below. And you'll also find information on our heavily reduced, it is really reduced, um, don't pay full price, of our signature online master tarot course and of course our ebook slash workbook which is dedicated to what is called self-love. There are beautiful prompts in there and you've got also lifetime access to the course. Um, all that information of course is in the description box below. All right, here we go for my beautiful Scorpio, please. What is it that they don't know about their personal romantic love light yet? But now they will. Here we go. They're saying now three more, two more, last one. I feel like these cards are a little bit heavy, like they're a bit stuck together. So I'm wondering, I hope this gets unstuck. There could be just, it literally could be someone that is stuck on you. But let's see. Going back. Oh, Scorpio, what's going on? Because this is you. We have the five of cups Scorpio energy. This illustration really speaks a thousand volumes, doesn't it? You know, the five of cups is when we are mourning over the death of a relationship, right? The death, uh, you know, just mourning love lost, really, and just really regretting how things turned out. And we're kind of stuck in this place. That's probably why I felt like the cards were stuck. And this is the thing, if you're kind of saying to me, Fifi, I actually don't feel this way, most likely then someone is feeling this about you. So let's see. Ooh. Okay, Scorpio, I'm just going to say this right now. I feel like something is going to happen that is going to snap you out of this in a beautiful way because um, it appears that we have someone new coming your way, possibly within the month, for weeks. That is going to go flying by. The Ace of Cups is Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces Energy. We've got double Pisces Energy with the High Priestess, and I'll get to that in a minute, but... Um, this is about being in love, falling in love. This is the card of true love. All that water there really shows with the trout, emotional abundance. And even though you probably had a bit of a rocky past, and why do I say that? Because we have this beautiful goblet, right? But there's a little crack there. Can you see it? That's indicative here that you have some scars from the past. And what I really love is that, yes, it, hard circumstances, right? Very challenging, but you have not allowed your heart to harden. So you do not know who this person is. High Priestess. It's a very secretive card. I've had a lot of people email me saying, I don't like the Hermit. I don't like the High Priestess. You know, it's, it's hard to read for them. But always see this, you know, traditionally the High Priestess has the scroll that is closed. In this instance, it is open. And it's all about secrets, important information, knowledge that's going to be revealed to you. It is my quiet card. You pretty much don't have to do anything. And I'm really picking up here that you do not know who this person is. And let's just say, if you do, they might be keeping their feelings a secret. Let's split the deck. 
it's oh okay this love it's on its way this is the second fastest moving energy in the deck eight of wands sagittarius energy regardless if this person is near or far away it's known as cupid's arrow love messages a quick sudden flurry of activity so this connection it's very exciting because all wands are kind of you know exciting and passionate i feel like it's going to move very fast i feel like it's going to be a breath of fresh air i just um you know in this instance if it's someone new Really, I hope that in this instance, you know, it's, I really hope that's just going to go smooth for you and we're not having anyone from the past or anything, but let, let's see. We have you already, the death card, Scorpio energy. I need you to pat yourself on the back, wherever you are right now, you can do it secretly. Give yourself some grace because look at that. The death card is part of your fate. You know what it's like to have the death of relationships. You know that. But death instantly is replaced by that white rose, innocence, purity, rebirth transformation this indeed might be a relationship that you have never been a part of and it's just like i said it's a breath of fresh air but it is destined here you might meet this person at work look at that the eight of pentacles is virgo energy it could be either through your finances your studies your career hobbies hobbies turned into career it could literally be just walking into a professional um building right you might work with this person but this is something where it's like you know what i actually want to put the effort I want to put the time, the love, the loyalty here, as long as it's reciprocated. We have the student card. So this is Page of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus and Virgo. Um, of course, we've got the bunny there. So that's obviously a very indication of fertility, the fertility of this relationship. Again, you might meet this person while studying. It could even be through a Zoom class. Believe it or not, I have seen the most random places um, and situations where someone can meet another person. Um, and this person's looking right at you. It's definitely going to be face to face, right? Not through email or all that. It's like this person's looking straight at you. And I feel like they want to move things very fast because this is messages, offers, and eventually, like I said, face to face meetings. We have you again. So this is the Six of Cups Scorpio energy. Okay. Some of you might catch yourself being nostalgic over the past. In normal circumstances, I would say this is definitely someone from your past. I'm actually not picking that up. Because very early on, straight to the point, boom, in our face, we've got something new here. And of course, we can always accept or reject this. And I feel like many of you really want to accept it. I'm starting to get quite excited here. Very hopeful, optimistic here. This is someone that you have a past life relationship with. Now, for some of you, this could indeed be a friend. Like I said, they probably haven't revealed their feelings to you. It could be a friend. It could be a co-worker. It's a lot of harmony between the both of you. So if you have no idea who I'm talking about, then you know this is someone that you completely don't know. Um, and even if you don't know, they're going to make their feelings known to you. It's such a happy card here. Um, you might even just start off as friends with this person, but feelings will develop very, very quickly. They might have children. Maybe you do. No problem. The more the merrier. Queen of Pentacles. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. This is someone that is approaching you, that is seeking long-term commitment. They are seeing you as the one. This is definitely someone, regardless of gender though, that doesn't matter. What's important is the energy that we pull out, that we extract from this card, right? Because if you're dealing with a divine masculine, they just might have a beautiful softer side. A divine feminine, well, it's the same thing, right? So this is absolutely someone that is very professional. I feel like they've got a lot of money. They could be a business owner, a manager, CEO, someone in charge of a lot of people. They've got a good head on their shoulders. I actually really like them. They might be dealing a lot with money here. Oh my, Capricorn. Why did I say Capricorn? Hang on. Why did I say? You might be, that is so weird. I don't believe in accidents unless I bump into someone and I break something by accident. We're doing Scorpio and that just rolled out of my mouth without any hesitation. Might be a Capricorn. Interesting, maybe because I'm seeing Capricorn here, but I could literally Scorpio end the reading right here because we end with the Two of Cups. So already in this reading, we are halfway and you've already got two cards of true love. Ace rolls over into two. First, we're singular, we're on our own, and then we have two. This is the perfect match. It's a soulmate connection. It is meant to be. Do not give up on those that we love. Do not walk away just yet. So even if this person is not your type, or we're going to discount meeting someone in the most random places like shopping, getting our car washed, right? I was going to say rent a movie, but they're closed. You can see how old I am. Um, anywhere. This is the perfect match. It's meant to be. It's part of your destiny. Two souls here uniting together as one. I love this reading, Scorpio. 
I am so happy to do this reading for you. I, it's like, for me, it's like an honor. <laughs> That's a bit of a privilege. You're mirroring each other. Whatever you want, they want it too. Oh, okay. This is why we're seeing commitment. We are seeing possibly engagement and marriage. I always say that you don't have to get married. A lot of you don't want to get married and that is fair enough, but I have to cover it because the energy is there. This is someone that is stable. They are grounded. They're reliable. People come to this person for advice. For some of you, this definitely might be someone that you do work with, whether it is a colleague, a team leader, a manager, owner, a client, new client. This is a time where the high priestess is telling you to keep your eyes and your ears open because they will see you first. You may lock eyes with this person, but just so you know, it's going to be totally random. Wow. Here we go. Three. I love this reading. Two. Last one. the card that flipped over it's the lovers three of pentacles yeah this is a work card oh okay this is getting this is getting i was gonna say creepy but in a really good way here we go four three two last one please for my beautiful scorpio oh okay i'm loving this i just feel the past few it has been it's been a lot it's been tiring it's been disappointing it's been sad and now like the universe is saying listen we don't want you to waste your time anymore no time has ever been lost with that five of cups that we saw and look at all these beautiful things that's in store for you <gasps> we got the high priestess again pisces energy your intuition will be an all-time high you may even get goosebumps you're going to walk into a building it's like if i think today's the day it's going to be i'm hearing there's a lot of single people that are, still, are soon going to be surrounding you you're being guided by your spirit team. It's a very spiritual card, right? Guided by your entire spirit team, but they don't want you to know who this person is. Even though the book is open, that's already telling me you are soon going to find out who this person is. Do not worry. You will have your clarity with the Ace of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. You've got the crown there and we've got the sword pointing up to the sky. Look at that. Wow. And it, it, it's very interesting because this is what happens after the Ten of Swords, literally the worst card in the deck, the most challenging and probably the most saddest card in the deck. So that's already telling me here that you've been through the storm, but you've come out on the other side. And there we go. We have you again, the Seven of Cups, Scorpio energy. And there you are wondering, it's like, what about the past person? What about this one, that one? What if I stay single? What about this, this, and this? Do not worry, because not only will you have options in terms of how to proceed with this new person, could even be more than one, but so far I'm seeing just a dominant figure that's coming into your life. You cannot make the wrong decision. It's time to get excited. It's time to have fun. Here they come, Three of Wands. Look at that. So the Three of Wands, Aries energy could show that either this person is interstate, overseas, a foreigner, a traveler, they love adventure here. It's a very well respected card. It's very positive because it really shows that perhaps after waiting, after delays, what seemed like forever, I was looking for this person, they find you. We could literally end the reading here, but I love reading for you. So let's talk about you with the death card. Yeah, okay. So you have your reasons as to why you are feeling a bit defensive. And I wouldn't say in a bad way. I think you're doing it very subtle. It's just that you are protecting your heart. You are very discerning now who you allow back into your circle, right? So I, what I like here is that you've got this attitude that for the right person, for the right person, you will do whatever it takes to make it work. Of course, we need to find someone that will match that enthusiasm and you will. It is a wand card. It is a victory card for you. Victory of the heart. The eight of pentacles, oh my God. I am loving this reading. Two of Cups came out twice. You are about to meet the one. You are about to meet the soulmate. And I don't say that a lot. I don't say that often, but it's going to happen in a professional setting. Like I said, it could even be walking into the bank. And there they go. I feel like they're going to see you first. Page of Cups brings, please. The opportunity, it's another, another six, I love it. The opportunity to move into calmer waters, the lake of tranquility. It's all smooth sailing. It's a number six. Look at that. We're moving away from the five of swords. That is a very challenging card. So this is a sign for you, Scorpio. Things are going to get better very quickly. 
sooner rather than later. Look at that. You are taking your challenges, your lessons, your losses, your experiences. You're taking it with you, never to be repeated again. This person is on the same board as you. They're on the same page. We've got the three of pentacles before. That is someone that is seeing eye to eye with you. That's what you need. Let's talk more about you, please. You've got nothing to worry about. You've got the chariot. And it's a very busy illustration, but we've got the person on the chariot. There are the horses there. Cancer energy. And just so you know, we are officially in cancer season. So that speaks volumes. This I said it. This is the number one fastest moving energy in the deck. This is someone that is going to seek victory. You want to be victorious as well. It's like, wow, it, you know what? It feels good to be me right now. It feels great to be in this relationship. And that's what's going to happen. And what I absolutely love is that you are in control of your emotions. You know when you kind of waver up and down or if, you know, if you're being pessimistic, you catch yourself. It is time to be even extra excited. Let's look at this. It's like from being stagnant, we're moving forward. We're moving forward here with the chariot. There's going to be no stopping you. The queen of pentacles, please, brings the two of wands. Look at that, Aries energy. So this is all about a crossroads. It's decision. And I feel like this person, it's not going to be a hard decision for them. And I love that. No more of having someone saying, I'm not sure if I want to be with Scorpio. What about that person? No, no, this person knows. And why am I so confident to say that? Because it's a wand energy. All wands are action, motivation, taking that first step into the unknown. It's like, I'm going to bite the bullet. I'm going to do it because of all this red and all that red in traditional tarot shows. There's passion. There's like, I believe in this and I need to get to know Scorpio even more. So they will. That's why I picked it up first. They will see you first. They will take the first action. I'm already seeing that they're going to approach you. Oh, wow. The two of cups, please. Oh, my God. I'm sorry if I seem overly enthusiastic. This is literally, I'm just going to say it, the best reading I have done this week. Possibly within, I mean, I know it's only the, what, the 3rd of July, but I guarantee this is going to be the best reading for the month. The Two of Cups ends, oh my God, the Ten of Cups. This is my number one favorite 10. It is your happily ever after. It is ruled by Pisces. It is everything you wanted. You're happily ever after. It's the one. It's commitment, engagement, marriage, domestic bliss. Once you meet this person, which I'm picking up, it's like literally here within. So within the next 10 months, you're going to be in a very committed relationship. This could even be, and I'll cover everything, babies, pregnancy, children, expanding the family, having a blended family here. And remember, if you don't want children, it doesn't matter because still you are going to get that domestic bliss, that emotional abundance. And every single cup there on top of the, is it parasol? I think they call it. Umbrella, parasol, are all the blessings that are going to be exchanged between you and this person. I just, I'm actually lost for words now. This doesn't happen to me often, but Scorpio, I'm just going to say it. Every person that you met in the past that let you down, that you had such high hopes for and you were waiting for them to, you know, see you in the middle, meet you in the middle, and that never happened. You will soon forget about them because this is destined. It's been marked into your book of life. You are about to meet the one very soon. I cannot emphasize that enough. And like I said, you don't have to do anything because the high priestess came out twice. It's a very spiritual card. Let them actually kind of sort everything, cross the T's, dot the I's, you know, tie up all the loose ends. They are on their way. And I can see you getting quite excited here because you're compatible with this person. You jump off each other's jokes. Wow. And we also have to respect when the high priestess makes not one, but two, um, you know, presence, we could say appearances. They really are telling you that you need to see this for yourself. Even I can't even say too much. They just won't let me because the high priestess is very secretive. So absolutely, Scorpio, it is time to get excited. Chin up because I'm going to say it's going to sound mean, right? and very disrespectful but the losers that you met in your past life the ones that just dragged you down and you were stuck in that five of cups you will soon forget about them it's going to be like a dream or you think about them it's like oh yeah and we don't we're not emotionally you know connected there's no emotional ang anchor pulling you to them this is i just can't you got the best reading ever this is the best i guarantee it's going to be the best reading for the month all right, I'm sorry, I'm so excited about this. I will personally see you this Saturday for your weekend bonus love tarot reading. Let's see if anything actually shows up further about this brand new true love card uh, reading, sorry. And I'll see you soon. Power to you. Love, love this reading. Bye, Scorpio.